today for you spanakorizo. Spanakorizo is spinach, rice and fresh herbs. So let's start with dill. We cut this part and then we cut it not very fine but just like that, like that. There you go. So uh, deal about a cup. I put more because my kids like too much the deal in the spinach. Now, few shallots. Four, five, six, how many you like. We cut them again, like that. And then mix them up with the, with the deal there. It's very easy, it's very easy this dish. It's a beautiful vegetarian dish actually. When you have barbecues, make uh, some potatoes in the oven, uh, make a spanakorizo, and there you go. It's beautiful. Very good for the kids too. So, let's put that in there too. Here we are. Here we are. Whoops. Now, I've got some leek here. Because I like the leek, I can put some in. Uh, the recipe doesn't, doesn't have it in, but I love it. Makes the spinach more sweet. So I better put a little bit in. There we go. Oh, I'm using it. So here's the leek. This one is going to go into the pot first. Because leek is like an onion, you see? So, oops, that's gone in. So I'm going to put one onion too. Here we are. And I'll do it the way I know how to do the onion. There you go. There. Here we are. There you go. Doesn't matter how, how fine you cut it or because they're all going to be all mixed up and the spinach is uh, long enough so they can go together all right. Here we are. So, leek and one onion together. I'm going to put some oil. Say the beginning half a cup. So we can sauté the onion and the leek. Okay, the pot on the stove. Okay, onion and leek here. We have to sauté them until they become a little bit soft. Just a bit soft. Not to burn them. Just make them soft, not to change color too much. Like that. See, they soften. They soften there. They soft. See? Nice. So what I do now, I'm going to put the spinach in. Don't think it's too much spinach. The spinach is going to be one one quarter after when it's it's cooked. Because as you know, it's full of water. Actually, I better put the salt and then cover because the salt is going to help it to reduce all the juices. Yeah, see salt. You can use any salt you like, but that's what I use. Yeah. There you go. Let's cover that. A bit. You see, the water starts coming out 
from the spinach. So now what I do and the salt helped it just in a minute to end up. So we put the um, spring onions and dill. This is one cup rice, washed. And this is the rest of the oil. I'm only going to put one cup of water in here. You can see if you go like that and see, because if you put one, one cup of uh, rice, you have to put two cups of water. But with the eye, you can see how much water is in there. One cup more, yeah. Okay, so you can put another cup of rice, like that. Like one and one we put in, two. One cup rice, two. Two cups of water. This is pepper. This is pepper. Brown pepper, it's beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. So now, it's... Most of, not most, 99% uh, of the water, it's gone. So now I'm going to put my lemon, two lemons, the juice of two lemons. Here we are. And what do we do now? That's it. Off, turn it off, cover, and let it stay for five minutes and then serve. Okay, it's finished. There it is. All the water's gone. The rice is nice. Uh, now, while I'm serving, I'm going to sing a song for you. Heri, heri gipu, heri gipu. Pusunto prohi, pusundo, pusundo pu, sunto besi meri pu, sundo, pusundo pu, sunto besi meri pu. Pu, pusunto yo, pusunto yo, pusunto yo besi le ma. Ne rancho, ne rancho, ne rancho fili menine. Rancho, ne rancho, ne rancho fili menine. Here we are. A little bit of oil around it, and it's beautiful. Better put some deco, and it looks nice, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Bon appetit. This is my spanakorizo. Thank you. Bye everybody, see you again. Welcome to Yaya's Kitchen. My food is so delicious.